take us in front of it. Right, before I start, it this is my opinion, no one else's, and I got this idea from a friend of mine who's kind of done a lot. So, yeah, I think there's that. And that is what I think everybody, this is a forgotten item, I think people always forget about, and that is going cheese clumps. I'm not stating that they're the best thing. I'm not stating that basically that I'm saying that everybody's wrong by not carrying them. In this piece of kit can be used for so many different things. You can fill with water with it. If you're foraging, you can forage food for it. You know, like if you get um like in the um, like in autumn and you're picking up your um acorns yeah you stick them in here you tie it close you tie it to a tree you stick it in the river and you let the water run through the acorns to get rid of all the toxins people don't really talk about that you can as i said you can filter water through this you can use this to store food in you can store meat in this you can oh, there's so many things you can do with these things and in my opinion it's a forgotten item i know a lot of people say well in a sense to a bag you don't need it but i don't think in my opinion yeah. like as i said this is my opinion and i know a lot of people are probably going to get antsy against it but to me personally you've got to think long to, more than just 72 hours you've got to think longer than 72 hours if in 72 hours the disaster or whatever it could be could not be over yet yes you might have food you might have to go and get food but your kit should last longer and having one of these into your kit will help a lot in my opinion as I said, I've got a friend, I'm reading his um, books, what he wrote when he was um, when he was a nomad in the 70s, and my good god, that book's interesting, that book, these books are interesting, so I'm just putting this down here, that book, that, that interest, uh, it really does interest me a lot, he's a nomad in the, in the 70s in the UK, and yes, I did know him, he was a friend, it was his diaries, his books he kept, he wrote every day, and even he said, they... I think it was like two years after his decade of walking on his own and being a nomad and what I he's taught me stuff how to do. He said he wish he got these sooner than later because when he was picking up the ch um the chestnut the chestnuts, the acorns, he had to use other things. And when he, as soon as he got these, he said his life changed a lot. And yeah, I'm not saying that you should have, I'm not saying that you should have two, I'm not saying you should have three. Even if you just carry the one, they're not that bulky, they're not that heavy. They are fantastic things to have, they are fantastic things to use. These are brand new ones. I've had my old for one for a few years and now it's just kind of needs replacing because it's kind of gone, not fancied. That's the wrong word, it's just got a few holes in it, let's put it that way. I didn't really look after that one that much, so. That's the reason why I went out and bought a number two. I've got rid of the old one, so I can't show you the old one. I do apologise for that, I should have, but never mind. So yeah, that is a piece of kit, in my opinion, everybody should cover. I do so apologise if this sounds like I'm just talking, because I am. But yeah, it's it's a piece of kit, everybody should cover. Don't weigh a lot, don't take a lot of space up. You can put it in your food bag, you can put it in your bottom of your rucksack and forget about it. Or don't forget about it, because in my opinion you would need it but as i said think more long time than 72 hours yes have a 72 hour bag but think put things in it what's going to last a little bit longer and long time so thank you very much for watching i'm leaving it here and we'll see you soon guys thank you bye, -bye.